I found this pile of snow right here because oh boy that was hot Oh, hey, it's Jordy here for I mean, it's, it's Kevin here for Cinecom.net and you're watching Copycat Friday Now, words on the street is that they want to break into my house tonight but that ain't gonna happen I'm setting up some traps right here. Hey, watch out. This house is like one giant booby trap right now. Come, let's sit by the tree. It's safe over here. It's not nine o'clock yet, so we've got some time, by the way. Actually, we've got plenty of time. No, let's give some time to our channel sponsor, Storyblocks. Storyblocks is a vast online library packed with high quality stock clips, video effects, overlays, and a bunch of After Effects templates. What makes it so amazing is that you can download unlimited video assets for only a single price per month or per year. This library is helping us to save time and create stunning projects as there's always something that we can find on it. To try it out yourself, make sure to click the first link in the description below. We're gonna start off by creating that fire effect first. Now, we are actually going to create fire, so if you also plan to do that, make sure that you are under the supervision of an adult and that you take precautions. I can see Janik over there coming in right now with a fire extinguisher, so make sure that you have all of that ready. Now guys, because this is a dangerous act, I'm also going to make sure that these two clips that we're going to create right now are available to download for free in the description below, so that means that you don't actually have to make your own fire. You can just download these clips. So we've already prepared all the stuff that we need. This right here is a DIY torch, which is just a rope, uh, which is uh, around this pole right here. I also painted it black. Uh, that way it's going to be easier inside After Effects to make sure that we only have the flame to put on Janik's face. And this right here is lighter fluid uh, to put on uh, a fire or something it's highly flammable so be careful with that stuff and we're just going to pour that over this rope and that way we can set it on fire right here we've got the camera it sits on a tripod which is going to be super important and it's going to film the DIY torch that we have over there. But before we're going to light it we're going to shut off all the lights close the dome so that it is completely dark I think ideally it would be to do this outside during the night then you also have a dark environment, but uh, we have to move on because we have to make sure that this episode is ready for tomorrow. So that's why we're doing this inside of the studio. But we've got Janik taking precautions. Now we had to record two types of fire. The first one was around that rope, and the second one is where you see the fire blowing into one direction. I'm not gonna show you guys how we recorded that last one as it wasn't quite safe. So again, use the free download link in the description below if you'd like to use these fire effects. We were stupid so that you don't have to. Everything you just saw was yesterday because we failed yesterday. We forgot the most important thing from this shoot, tracking marks. Never forget tracking marks if you need to track something. Most important thing ever. But we got everything now, so let's go back to the studio. Yep. That's right, you're gonna need tracking marks. Now these can be simple pieces of tape, anything that is clearly visible. Always place two tracking marks as we're gonna need both. So once you got your shots, we can jump into After Effects. Start off by placing your normal shot into a composition. The fire has to follow Jennings' head, so we're first going to have to track his movement. Now with your clip selected, head over to the tracker window. If you can't find it, you can always locate it from the window menu on top. Click on track motion and then make sure to enable position, scale and rotation. 
because there are all of these three properties which we are going to need to calculate. And this will give you two points, which we're going to place over those tracking marks. The inner square defines the mark itself, and the outer square is the searching area, so this one can be bigger. When they sit in place, simply hit the track forward button and let After Effects do its magic. When it's done, go to the top menu, Layer New Null Object. And this is a layer that has no purpose, it is literally a nothing or a null object. But we can use it to store data in, for example, the tracking data. So from the tracker window, I'm going to click on edit target and make sure that this null object is selected. We can then press on apply, which will transfer all the tracking data into that null object. You will then notice that the null object sticks to Genix head. We can now go ahead and import the fire effect into the composition. From the layer properties, we're going to change the blending mode to screen. And if you don't see these options, by the way, you can always right click in the columns on top and click on modes. And this will already remove the black and only reveal the flame. Now place the fire on your subject's head. Then take the pen tool and draw a quick mask around it to take up the shape of the talent. Finally, we're going to use this pick whip tool from the layer options and connect it to the null object. And this way the flame is linked to the tracking data and will now follow your subject. If you'd like the flame to be more intense, you can apply the Lumetri effect onto it. Use the basic controls right here to increase the exposure of the flame, but make sure that the shadows stay dark or else you'll start to see the background. Awesome, that was the first step. Next up, we're going to remove those tracking marks as we obviously don't want to see them. Now, there are various ways to do that. What I find to work the best is by doing the following. Ctrl plus D to duplicate the normal shot. Then right click on that shot, go to time and choose freeze frame. Then take the pen tool and draw a mask above the tracking marks to take a piece out of Genix's head that is clean. Make sure to feather the mask a little bit as well and move the clip's position to cover the tracking marks. Finally, also link it to the null object to make it follow with Genix. And that's basically it. Next up is gonna be the reflection of the flame. For this, we're going to go up the menu, layer, say new, and choose solid. Take something orange and hit OK. Within this orange solid, I'm going to draw a round mask. Then from the mask properties, make sure to feather it a lot. And from the layer options, I'm going to change the blending mode to add. We now want to have this reflection to follow Janik as well, but only for the position and the scale, not for the rotation. So we can't really link the entire layer to the null object. We're going to have to do it a little bit different. Start off by expanding the properties for the null object and the reflection solid. From your reflection solid, Alt plus click on the stopwatch of the position property. This allows you to write expressions, but we're going to use something else right here. You'll notice that it also opened up a pickwip tool for that property specific. Link the position from your reflection layer to the position of the null object. Do the same thing for the scale, alt click and link it to the scale of the null. And this will offset the reflection layer, so with the anchor point now, we can push it in place to the wall. Finally, go into the opacity settings and decrease it to match with the environment. When your subject walks away from the wall, you can animate the opacity to make the layer fade out. We're gonna do one final touch to the reflection. Jump into the mask expansion property and alt plus click onto it. And this time, we are going to write a little expression in there. Type wiggle, open bracket and then five. Comma 50 and then close the bracket again. Now 5 is the interval number. The higher the number, the faster the wiggle goes. The second number is the amount the value has to change. So in this practice, the expansion of the mask will change randomly by a maximum of 100 at 5 times a second. And this will make your reflection a bit more organic. Now you can go ahead and create more reflections if necessary. The process works exactly the same. And that's it. It's 9 o'clock. Stand by the pain buckets. I'm gonna secure the back door. Oh yeah. Thanks for watching. Thank you Storyblocks as well for the support. And as always, stay creative. We have to figure out how to put this right here. The flame tower. So. We have flame to tower. We have to figure out how to hang up the flame tower. So, so, yeah, okay. We have to figure out how to attach the flamethrower right here, not the flame tower. I kept saying flame tower, but it's flame thrower.